This is what you see when you arrive at the Trafford Shopping Centre. Its classical features suggest strength, power and permanence. But today, Into, the company that owns it, went into administration. The biggest corporate casualty so far of the COVID-19 lockdown. Into is Britain's biggest shopping mall owner, with 17 centres in total. Two and a half thousand people are employed by the company directly. A further 30,000 are involved in the company's supply chains. And 100,000 work in their tenants' stores, making it a significant regional employer and now a significant regional problem. The Trafford Centre is a, is a, 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 um, a destination of national uh, significance. So, of course, any uh, interruption to business is, is economically damaging. Um, and we would obviously be working very hard to support uh, both those who run the Trafford Centre and the businesses uh, who operate uh, within it. But the shopping centre's mainly young retail workforce don't want reassurances, they want jobs. I love working in the Trafford Centre, like I've worked here for about a year and a half and it's just, it's just such a nice place to work, always full of like so many people, but kind of be sad if we lost our job as well because just all my friends and everything, but I don't know, we're all just kind of hoping for the best really. We've been open for two weeks now and to be told that, oh yeah, we might be closing down again, it's just kind of, you just don't know what's going on. You don't really like, you're just like dipping in and out all the time or what's going to happen. During lockdown, some really well-known high street shops closed, but there was nothing to match the size and the scale of the Into shopping centres, and its closure would be the starkest warning yet of the problems to come for the retail sector. Into, like other retail players, had been struggling for years, burdened first by debt, and then the lockdown slowdown. It's going to be an extremely complex administration. If you think about what Into does, it keeps these shopping centres open, it provides the services, the lighting, the cleaning, etc. So the suggestion is there's going to need to be about £12 million put on the table just to keep these shopping centres alive. For now, Into says its shopping centres will remain open. Its prime retail space could be tempting for new buyers, but in this post-Covid climate, that's far from certain. Katerina Vitozzi, Sky News in Greater Manchester.